Hey guys, it's Shane and Nick with Craft Beer Club. We are two ordinary guys drinking extraordinary beer. This week, we're gonna be trying out the SBF 5050 by the Red Hair Brewing Company. It's a tangerine and IPA mix Radler. Check it out. <laughs> I love this new style of craft beer that I'm seeing in these cans. Very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. modern. Looks like a Daft Punk uh, album cover. Yes, it does. It with does. rabbits. Very, very retro -y. You know what a rattler is? Okay, so I did some research on it, which research I mean by I looked this up a minute ago. So basically, what I found out is that a rattler and a shandy are basically the same thing, except for a shandy is more English origin and a rattler is a German origin. So in England, we'd have a beer mixed with lemonade uh, would be a shandy so yeah. if you were uh, you know um wanted to not get too drunk you'd have your beer mixed with lemonade and it'd be a shandy and i see lots of shandy in bottles of cans now and um, but this is a rattler so i guess just a, a different name you're saying but the similar similar drink the irony is that india pale ale comes from england um oh. and tangerines well this one looks like tangerines come from uh, the beach. It's a clever name, SPF 50-50, 50% IPA, 50% tangerine. That is really it's smart, okay. It cool. says here it's quenching, citrusy, and magical. Ooh. And it's made by the Red Hair Brewing Company uh, out of uh, Marietta, Georgia, and uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, it's sort of like Charlotte. Is that a real place? Uh, Hold on, because Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Charlotte. that's like, looks a, little, like, Charlotte. like a little onion. Yeah, that's a real place. They didn't misspell that, that's a real okay. place. So, so it's from Charlotte, not Charlotte spelled incorrectly. <laughs> There's no R in there. Charlotte. It's like Charlotte. Is that what John Lennon would say? I'm from Charlotte. Charlotte. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh my god. Let's give this a pour. <laughs> I like these like really crafty beers. Well, I must admit, I've never heard of the a Red Hair Brewing Company before. I what intrigued me about was was the can design. Honestly, I thought it was really really cool, and and I love the idea of mixing an IPA as a shandy. Normally, it's a lager you'd, you'd make a shandy with or a vadler. So hazy. Look at that. That's nice. Definitely. Oh no, I spilled some. Definitely like a tangerine kind of flavor. Yeah, big time. Flavor to it. Big time. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So Whoa. really really juicy. Really, really juicy. juicy. Yeah. Really good. That's not bad. It's it's like beer and some tangerine juice. Not orange juice. Tangerine. I'm not getting a lot of IPA. Feels lighter than IPA. Yeah. This is 4.3%. Zero IBU. Zero IBUs? We were right? And they're right. It's very thirst quenching. This is like a breakfast beer. This is definitely a very juicy... But it's more like an, a pale ale. It doesn't say any pale ale. It's not an IPA. It's a pale ale. It's a PA. It says IPA. It's an it, does? IP, it says an IPR. An India Pale Rattler. But there's no, there's no. But it said IPA a pale ale on the can. Yep. So it's an IPAR. And, uh, it says pale ale right there. Yeah, India Pale Rattler. Oh my goodness. IPR, okay, so, so India Pale Ale. Well, maybe. A blended with tangerine flavored juice. This is a really curious. Yeah. This is really, this is really different. This is like, when I mean, you talk about a beach drink or a hot day drink, you could drink this all, all day long. You could Very definitely drink this all day. Beach, pool, whatever. That's perfect. I can't even taste the alcohol. Honestly, to me, it just I tastes can't. like fruit juice. Which is nice. I mean, which is, which, is, which is nice. It is really refreshing. I feel like this is really cold. Yeah. It's really nice. It's not what I was expecting, no. though. So that's why I'm a little flabbergasted. I don't want to see bits of tangerine in it. To me, there's, there's lots of little bits of... You can see tangerine. A, a, a little bit of fruit in there. Oh, specks? Yeah, little specks. Maybe you got all the specks. The specks. I don't see any. I see bubbles. I don't see any specks though. You're drunk. I don't know. You can't see the specks. <laughs> zero IBUs, zero specks. Zero IBUs. That's no, crazy. No, there's definitely specks in there. <laughs> it's just oh, not what I was yeah. expecting at all. I was like, I was like thinking it would be more of a hoppy flavor yeah. to it. There's no hops um, to it at all. I, I can't get any. It's a great Florida beer. I know it's not made in Florida, but it's a great beer to enjoy in a hot weather if you're on the beach. Oh wow, this is fantastic. North Carolina is pretty close to Florida, though. I'll probably give it like a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven too. Out of it's 10. not like seven a normal. Out of 10. Um, pretty good. I can't get any of the IPA at all, but it's still really, really good. If you like IPAs, you might like this. And if you don't like IPAs, you might like this too. So I think a lot of people could enjoy this. 
It's like a it's, breakfast beer. It's like a breakfast beer. It's, it's a still a 4.2%, so it's still got some booze in there. Don't be fooled. It tastes like you're drinking fruit juice, but yes. really, you know, there, there is booze in there too. If you um, don't want to have a mimosa, have one of these. You're totally right. Perfect. This yeah, is a good totally brunch right. drink, I think. It's if a, I was going yep. to brunch and I wasn't wanting to do mimosa, because yep. I, if I have right. too many mimosas, I don't get anything done that day. Probably, probably treat me better than a mimosa, like yeah. 17 mimosas. Yeah. And not do anything the rest of the day. <laughs> this is not your Friday night beer. This is your Saturday or Sunday morning, afternoon brunch beer. You're completely cool. right. For that, it is perfect. It's that perfect. You crack this open with some Eggs Benedict. Oh, uh, people yeah. over for brunch or something, they'll love it. Hey, you guys. Thanks again for watching the video with us. We really enjoy the SBF 5050 Pale Ale Rattler. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please click subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. We'll be making new videos every week. Until then, stay safe, stay cool, keep drinking. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.